Greetings all, Fanny here for Pisces' weekend message. Woo! Oh, we get in a little spicy. So, we have the King of Wands, the King of Fire, Ambition, Passion, Status, Achievement, the one that will drive so far to achieve a title. Well, he did. <laughs> You have the death card being paired with the king of wands. Death is not something to be fearful of, especially not in this world. It simply means a change or shifting of form. Perhaps this king is becoming a different kind of king. Perhaps he's not going to be a king of passion and fire. He's going to be a king of water and emotions of steadiness and earth, of air and thoughts. There is a distinct shift away from ego, away from greed, and away from this need to be d damn right oppressive sometimes. But like, that's literally a king on the ground being claimed by death there as people beg for him not to be taken but my love it is the only thing that is certain it is the only thing that is guaranteed there is nothing that we can do in this realm that can prevent this from happening and the more we fight it the worse it will be for us and the worse it will be for everyone around us and that goes for change and life you have the Four of Swords and Judgment in Reverse. I feel like this king gets in your head. This king lives in there rent free when he should not. And he makes you doubt your worth. He makes you doubt what you can do. He makes you doubt your skill. He is that nagging voice of, are, you, are we really doing this again? Are you trying to do something for yourself again? He is that nagging voice that tells me, that tells you, why are you trying this again? It's never worked. My love, when the world is upside down, spirit shows up in mystical ways. That is the symbol of the Alwyn. And this isn't even my Celtic tarot, which has the Alwyn all over that. The dark goddess Caridwyn is with you and will provide you inspiration, connection, and awareness when you are reaching struggles when you are at points of stagnancy look for inspiration in the earth look for inspiration in the stars look for inspiration in the sky in your heart in your music playlist literally just hit shuffle and let it happen yeah you're going to be experiencing a whole new journey because something had to end with this whole phase here like this whole situation needs to be dead, done, over with, buried last week. Like, it's got worms coming out of it. We don't, we don't need to be dealing with this. We don't want to be dealing with this. We don't want our energy in this situation. Yeah, we're, we're really moving away from this. You have the magician that is coming in for you. The only thing that could stop the magician is self-doubt. So be mindful of how you're thinking over yourself. But you're building something beautiful with the Ten of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. You're trying to build a home, a community, a sanctuary where this king cannot hurt you or anyone else again. And you will have celebration for it. You will have people celebrating you, Pisces. Because you absolutely deserve to be celebrated. You absolutely deserve to be honored and valued in the way that you are being. Because people are finally seeing you as a gift. As a blessing. As someone that should be respected and honored. And I love this so much. You have the thorns and the tower. Weave together a crown you deserve. And unplug and relax for a spell. You truly deserve to be taken care of. And the first step is to be taking care of yourself. Every storm is going to come to an end. The hurricanes will pass. The winds will subside. 
things might be tussled about a bit, but we'll get there. Take a chance on them. It's speaking of your dreams. Each one of those droplets is a potential of something you wanted to do, but had to let go of. Stop letting go of it. Yes, we are always told that we need someone to fix us, but we don't. We're a beautiful, dysfunctional masterpiece exactly as we are. And nothing needs to change about that, my love, unless it's something you genuinely want to change about yourself. But then that has to be a decision that you make for you. And then you have confidence. It comes with time and practice. That will be the biggest thing for Pisces in this situation, especially if they had been put down so far by this lion, this king of wands energy. You may feel like you don't have confidence or you can't trust yourself in that. It will come in time. Learning to trust your intuition, recognizing what that voice sounds like, and understanding it never sounds like anxiety. So if something is putting that twisting in your stomach, take a moment, take a brother, breather and release it because it has to go. It, it cannot stay in you because you are pure. You are beautiful love and light and a universal star child and this is garbage this is like bottom of the trash can kind of swill and you don't want to be in that energy you have an incredible adventure to embark upon and all of the tools to overcome the challenges so like this guy he ain't shit he he cannot hurt you as much as he or you thinks he can at this moment. Take back your power, Pisces. Take back your gift as an individual, as a powerhouse, and as a spiritual warrior. Have a beautiful day, my love.